Alright, so we're going to try to play as the Huntress today, and notice I said try and not just straight play as, or do a, uh, not Huntress, Spirit, I'm sorry, do a Spirit video. Um, if you guys have been keeping up with the channel, you see that we just have not been on a great string of games lately. Um, kind of hard to pinpoint where it is, so I can ultimately just say that I'm just playing really, really bad. And we got to we gotta do better, so let's see what kind of survivors we get. I already see two items. It seems to be more and more of a common thing lately. People are bringing these items in to these games. Um, yeah, three med kits. Yeah, I need to bring Franklin's demise. I don't really have much of a choice, and I hate having to waste the perk on that because they're bringing in items, but. You know, that's their right, they have that, so let's go ahead and ready up and we'll see what happens when the game actually starts. Alright, well, I guess Midwitch isn't a bad map for us. I don't play here too often. It's okay as killer, I don't care too much for it as survivor, but... No, no, oh, we need to go ahead and break these doors early. Fires might be upstairs. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, so... We actually covered a ton of ground there. I didn't think we were going to cover that much. I wonder why he was waiting here, though. But, since he's the only one we've got... Oh! I was gonna say, I just lost track of her. Bloodhound, I thought, was supposed to be making her blood much brighter. So... <laughs> oh, actually, there's no point in doing that because I actually I need to go back and look at these add ons again because I swore that the scratch marks are supposed to disappear with the mother daughter ring and that. We were supposed to, the blood was supposed to be brighter for us. Oh, she's got iron will. Alright, so we're, we're just gonna have to purely, until I can figure out what's going on, we're gonna have to purely rely on just being able to hear them. I'm about to say, I heard her breathe. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard it, but I heard it. That's why I turned back around. Uh. 
I baited her, made her think that I was phasing, but I wasn't. He just ran into this locker. Does he have decisive though? No! Um, I know that she likely has decisive, but we don't really have a lot of time to do what we need to do, so we just have to risk it. I didn't have it, so that's lucky for us, actually. Truth be told, as much as I hate to play like this, we don't have many options. We have to get somebody out of this game. I hate playing like that, I really do, but we, we've got to start getting people eliminated, so we are going to have to start playing dirty. Right, so we're trying to get it turned around. I'm not exactly sure where she could possibly be going that fast. But I have a feeling I'm really just overlooking her.
We just wasted some save the best for last axe, but we gotta keep it moving. Oh, uh, well. Okay. We should let her go, but like I said, with the bad slew of games we've been having. Are you gonna disconnect too? I feel bad about this, but we've been playing horrible, so we need we need the points that we can get. Oh, where are the hatches? Well, I'm not sure how you can count this video, but we'll we'll work with it. Two people disconnected. Both of them, mind you, offered up escape cake, so that's a waste for both. This person only didn't quit because they had the bloody party streamers. But yeah, listen to me. Yeah, see? Tremendously increases the haunting movement speed. Scratch marks are no longer visible when using Yamoka's haunting. So how is that? I'm not sure how that worked while I was still able to see scratch marks. Maybe it's a bug because I do know that they are changing her power up a little bit. She is getting nerfed slightly and that's another reason we wanted to play as her before that happens but nonetheless let's move on to the next game all right so wow i don't remember the last time we played on this map but let's see how it works for us so we did swap out um franklin's demise for devour hope because nobody had on items oh kind of a drift there I needed to be. <laughs> we literally have her trapped in this corner and we have done nothing with it. You're gonna have to take the hit. Oh, she didn't run in there like I thought she was. I still don't understand why I can't see the blood. Oh god, please tell me she's not gonna find my hex. Okay, well she didn't look. 
She made double back for it. I don't understand. This is a great map for Hexus. And they still managed to spawn them outside. Like, I don't... I don't get it. Truth be told, the only reason I switched to the Hex is I was hoping that because I'm playing Spirit, it'll kind of deter them away from wanting to cleanse it. I feel like we may have been given that one. Dead hard, yep. Oh, what is this lag? Oh, what is this right now? Oh, this is a bad lag. Is that it's got something to do with me using that power? Let's see if Phase Walking fixes it. It does seem like it fixed it. It looks like I was just stuck in between the rounds. I hear somebody. A waste of a strong palette. She has a key in her hand. She didn't have that when the match started. I mean, is she just wasting time for her teammates? Probably. Jesus Christ. Because the hitbox is so weird when they run underneath you like that. That's why you see all the survivors doing that. But we only have one generator left. She ran underneath. Devour Hope can literally change this all for me, but they have to they have to rescue her first before I can really get the effect of it. All right, now let's see if this changes everything for us. Not to mention the save the best for last stacks.
doesn't really matter because there's no pallet here. That's four. Jesus Christ, she still had decisive? This is only going to give them time to find that hex, and I don't need that. I heard her leave out from there, that's why I just went on ahead there. Good. We just need Devour Hope a little bit longer. We don't need to do the five stacks part of it. But, uh, oh, she's dead. She tried it. Why am I still stuck in the chase music? Somebody over here? Alright, well, we want real full effect of it. We need to get at least one more down. We probably need to kill that Feng Ming now because she knows where it is. So luckily for us, when she gets rescued, it'll, uh, wow, I don't know where we're stuck in the chase needs to be done, so I'm sorry. We have to kill her because she knows where it is. I don't have a choice. Hopefully she was the only one that knew. Oh no. Alright, we need to get back upstairs and quickly. Damn, we chose the wrong one. Oh, well, maybe not. Although I maybe just saw some money. Ooh, almost fell. Somebody's here. I hear them running unless it was underneath. Nope. They're up here. Well. Wow, she didn't run to the pallet. As if this is what we need right now. Maybe we get lucky. Oh no. Ah! 
So I'm gonna explain what just happened. So because she's under the influence of a hex, so in this case, Devour Hope, she is able to keep getting up over and over and over because of one of her perks. I forget the name of it. I'll point it out when the match is over, but that's why she was able to get up. Unless, of course, you know, she had uh, Unbreakable, but I'm pretty sure that she had the other perk because it is a Cheryl Mason perk. Not bad, we got, what, three? Had to play a little dirty to get there, and Devour Hulk kind of made it. Bang, found it way too late, and luckily we were able to get rid of her. It is... Where is, where is she at? Oh no, she had Unbreakable. Never mind, but there is a Cheryl Mason perk that will allow her to get back up, as long as she's under the influence of a hex. So not bad, not bad, but that'll be it for this video. I appreciate you guys coming out and seeing the 3K to my Mori. So we'll see you in the next video.